Hello, strangers from the internet. Hello, friends I haven't met yet. I'm Colin Wright. I wanted to take a quick few minutes to introduce myself to those of you who have not encountered me or my work before and reintroduce myself to those who have. My intention is to make more videos than I have in recent memory. I've had this YouTube channel for ages, and I've made quite a few videos of various sorts. I even did something kind of like this, the Colin sitting in front of a camera talking at the audience style video in the past, but it's been a long while, many years since I've done that. And most of what's gone up here in the years since has been promotional stuff, interview stuff, and my podcasts, which are primarily audio. And so before I jump back into doing more of this type of video, I wanted to make sure you have a sense of who it is that's talking to you. So, as I said, my name is Colin Wright. I am an author, I am a podcaster. I speak to crowds of five and crowds of 5,000 at a variety of different venues, ranging from universities to retreats to book signings, things of that nature. And I speak and record and write about all sorts of things, ranging from the publishing industry to the history of the Green Revolution to pursuing one's curiosity and being a lifelong learner, trying to build all of that into what you do for a living and what you do to live alongside making an income that allows you to put a roof over your head and food on the table. And I do a fair bit of news analysis work as well, which basically means taking what's happening in the world and explaining it to people who don't necessarily have any reason to care about what I'm saying. And sometimes that means summarizing and providing some context. And sometimes that means full length expositions, getting into the nitty gritty details of why something happened and why you should care. I also speak a fair bit about travel, which is something that I've done for a very long time. In 2009, I started traveling full time, moving to a new country every four months or so based on the votes of my readers. I did that for many, many years, and then I started mixing up my routine a bit, full timed in a 1985 Holiday Rambler Imperial RV that I fixed up and drove that around North America while also on a 50 city speaking tour. I have taken the trains around Europe, I've taken the buses around South America, I've visited all 48 contiguous United States at least two to three times a piece, and one of those complete circuits I did riding only on Greyhound buses. The idea behind all these different types of travel is to try to expose myself to these spaces between places, all the places that we might otherwise miss, the people you might not encounter, and really just trying to expose myself to different ideas and backgrounds and collections of experience than I have had as part of a larger effort that permeates all of my work and not work things that I do, of basically trying to three-dimensionalize my view of the world rather than leaving it flat. When I discover there's something in my life that is two-dimensional, I try to round it out by doing this type of exploration. And some of that is research-based, some of it is more hands-on, getting out into the world, meeting people, doing things, living places. But across all of these efforts is that core goal of trying to learn and grow and become a better and better version of myself each and every day as much as is possible. Now, the tangible manifestations of all of this work and not work that I do can be seen in my life, which is part of why I share a good deal of that life with other people, trying to include other folks in these adventures to whatever degree is feasible based on the project or adventure in question. But I also have a good deal of work that I put out into the world that is oriented around trying to share some of what I'm experiencing, but also what I'm learning along the way and in multiple different ways, different formats, different shapes and sizes and different mediums. I've written several dozen books of different genres, different essay collections and travel logs, some fiction here and there. I've run a half dozen, I think, podcasts at this point, some of them for a very long time, some of them not so long, some of them just experimental and then I set them aside once I've learned what I needed to learn or accomplished what I needed to accomplish. And then the same with writing projects. And currently I've got writing projects like Aspiring Generalist, where I share all sorts of just random interesting things for people who are enthusiastic, lifelong learners and passionate about 
continuing to expand their intellectual and cognitive horizons, Climate Happenings, where I write about what is happening in the world of climate and the environmental changes that we're seeing and the growth of sustainability and renewable energy related efforts around the world. I've got Brain Lenses, where I talk about the various things that can distort and shape our perception of ourselves and the world and other people. I write Never Not Curious, which is a curated collection of interesting things. I've got one sentence news where I summarize and contextualize three stories a day to try to help people understand what's happening in the world, even if the news on average is a bit too stressful and anxiety inducing to deal with on a regular basis. And then I write an essay focused publication called You Probably Don't Need, where I talk about all aspects of the consumer world and try to put some of the thinking and some of the happenings in that space together in a cohesive, interesting, I hope, format that also periodically makes recommendations for good products and apps and things like that. I also run a blog called Exile Lifestyle. I have a newsletter, and then I'm pretty active across social media, though at a bit of an arm's length. I post stuff from my travels on Instagram. I curate and share a lot of things that I find to be interesting on Twitter and Facebook, and then I'm hoping to expand my horizons a little bit here on YouTube, as I feel like this will be another good distribution mechanism for sharing some things with a different audience than I currently hit on a regular basis, but then also to hopefully create some kind of back and forth dialogue as well. I made a lot more videos of this kind back in the day, but the online streaming video platform world has evolved substantially since then. And part of why I'm doing this is that I'm fascinated by all of the tools, all of the new communities that have evolved around this medium, and the huge range of opportunities that I think exist for creating that kind of dialogue and that kind of community and those types of relationships when you can see who it is who is talking to you, rather than just hearing my voice talking into your earbuds throughout the day if you listen to my podcasts or through the words that I choose to string together if you read one of my publications. Now the next question is what will I be sharing here? And the answer to that question is I have absolutely no idea. I've thought about it, but I kind of want to leave it open. It will probably be centered around videos that are different permutations of this, of Colin on camera talking to you through that camera. I'm unlikely to get into any TikTok dance video crazes or do anything too highly produced. I don't have a documentary team. It is just me and my equipment here at home and when I'm on the road probably as well recording these things. So that's a lot of effort for one person to do. That's a lot for one person to juggle alongside all of my other projects. So whatever fits within that schema, I will absolutely try. But a lot of it will probably be focused on this sort of thing. Me talking at camera, presenting different sorts of ideas, maybe in different orders, probably in a more clean and fancy way over time as I get better with these tools. But that is generally what you can probably expect, at least for the foreseeable future. Now within that, I will probably do expansions on ideas from those other projects, other things that I'm writing about, other things I'm interested in or that I've just learned that I think would be fun to share in this format. I will almost certainly do some kind of Q&A thing. I had a project for a long time, a column that I wrote called Ask Colin, so I will probably bring that back in this format. It's something I'd like to try out. You can send me a message, send me a question, leave it in the comments, or send it via email if you choose to do so and I'll try to get around to that, though I also have a, a backlog of questions from readers and such already in my inbox that's been burning a hole in my pocket. I might do some explainers. I'll probably do some video essays of the kind that I did back in the day, but now from a perspective of somebody who is much older and hopefully a little bit wiser. There's also a chance that at some point I'll do something wildly different. I'll give some kind of tour. I will do interviews maybe. There's things that I do on social media that could translate well here. I give tours of museums and sometimes I share something of the current home base that I'm living in. That could be interesting as well, but I'm really leaving it up in the air because I'd like to go with what makes sense in the moment as I have a good idea rather than boxing myself in from a place of relative ignorance of just getting started again 
making assumptions about how it will be, and then forcing myself to align with that, even if things evolve in such a way that it makes sense to do something entirely different. So I'm leaving it pretty open. It'll probably be mostly this. I would love to hear from you if you have any ideas, and also do send me questions if there's any questions you'd like me to answer. Now, however things go from this point forward, I am very excited to be here. I'm excited to witness firsthand all of these changes that I've been keeping up with from a distance happening within the online online video platform space, to use these tools to try to get better at them, to see what I can do sharing and exploring some of the things that I care most about with people via this medium as opposed to the other ones that I'm more comfortable with, and I'm looking forward to engaging with you as well. Now something that I like to do in my newsletter is invite people to share something about themselves after each email goes out. I love getting that back and forth, and one of the best things about my work, the work that I do engaging with people in different ways, is getting to hear from folks from all around the world with different backgrounds, different beliefs, different ideas and goals and everything else. So if you have a quick moment in the comments or via email, tell me something about yourself. Tell me where you're at in the world. Tell me what music you're listening to, what book you're reading. Share something about your current daily experience with me. I would love to hear from you, and I am looking forward to seeing where this experiment goes. Wherever you're at in the world right now, I hope you are having an absolutely wonderful day.